Right, we got three colors of beets over at the farmer's market, and this is one of the colors, and I was like, oh, it was all red on the outside, but you cut into it, and it was, um, it was white, but this is beautiful. Look at that variegated stranding, and I actually think that, watch, I think the color is coming as it gets exposed to the air. I really do. So I'm going to... Pull that there and cut into another piece so we can see this happen. If it does, now nah, it's already there. <laughs> I, w I could have sworn that when I cut this off, it was white. Okay, let me cut off another piece. Oh, that's already. Oh, wow. I don't know. Did that really happen that way? Is it all in my head? I could have sworn it was more white than this. Oh, I know. This one isn't cut into yet. No, this is crazy. Look, the outside all turned red. When I cut it, rem did you see that? Look. And then it turned red after it got exposed to the air. That's cool. I see these pieces in here. We're going to let it sit a bit before we move on, but isn't that pretty? Cool. Here it is a minute later. See how the outside is getting all red? Because it was white, right? I'm sure of it. <laughs> so, dinner is waiting, and we are having a dilemma here. Should we cut short our experiment or not? So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to cut off a couple of slices and reserve those for the experiment. But I do want to point out that I think I showed you that this little one was white earlier. And it certainly is not white now. Um, and then this one is still partly white on the outside. But it really did turn quite a bit. I just am curious as to how much it will turn. You know, so let's cut off a part so that we can keep observing and then the rest is going in the pot.